Okay, so listen, this is a professor who is attempting to normalize pedophilia with a new nicer term for pedophile called MAP. The term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to it doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. Um, and non-offending maps, by definition, do not abuse children, so their behaviors are moral. Um, but they're still being subjected to this same idea that they're bad people, and they've often internalized that to themselves. So that's why I've used this subtitle, Minor Attracted People and Their Pursuit of Dignity, because a lot of minor attracted person and he is also a part of a foundation that is called prostatia where other weirdos agree with him they are all disgusting and devils okay evil people if you ask me i don't care if you are attracted to a child there's something wrong with you living in this era as a parent we have to work a thousand times harder and i mean a thousand times harder to protect and guard our children from the devils that are hiding in plain sight that are out lurking to harm your children. But this is the very reason why pedophilia would never end because the victims will either grow up doing what was done to them to others or it could turn around for them to liking the same sex or they could become addicted to porn, okay? Sex, a sex addict, all right? This is what happens to children when they are you know, molested and harmed by pedophiles. Leave the children alone, okay? As children, all a kid wants to do is go and play and be a kid, okay? Not be used for a grown adult's sexual gratification. Children are innocent. I wish sex was only meant to reproduce and didn't have any sexual feeling from having sex because then there probably would not be no rape molestations, sex trafficking, I mean, pedophiles, the list goes on. But what's next? People will be forced to accept bestiality? I mean, this is just terrible. This man right here, to me, is psychotic and sick. And then for some idiotic people out here, okay, they believe that we are supposed to have sympathy for a sicko like this, okay, who is supposedly have a problem. No, I care for the children who are innocent and afraid of these pedophiles. It should not be how an adult feel. What happened to protecting the children? And then this man said he counseled victims. Oh my God. No, he meant to say he's grooming these children in the worst way, okay? But the most terrible part about this is... The fact that there are people who feel bold and proud and safe enough to openly say that they are pro-pedophiles in this world, okay, with no care online is very disturbing. Listen, I'm going to leave my thoughts right here before I get myself into any trouble saying how I truly feel, okay? So make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and come on back for more, y'all. And I'm out.